Hey everybody, welcome back to This Old Trike. I am walking through my, my room here and it feels nice to have the space I do as my phone does whatever it wants to do. But I wanna give a special shout out today. I'm wearing my Knox Machine Company shirt. If I could get it to focus on it, you can see it down at the bottom. No, I gotta override. Knox Machine Company from out in Maine. My buddies, uh, Dylan and Travis Anderson up there in Maine sent this to me. So I wanted to give them a little love and uh, thank you very much for the shirt, guys. Uh, I was just talking to Travis about shipping and I feel maybe it's a, a good thing to uh, mention here. I'm not endorsed by this company, but I have found that the best shipping rates you can get, um, and this was rec recommended to me by my good buddy, Greg Jr., um, out there in Ohio, JR Trike Sports. There's a plug for him. Uh, PirateShip.com, UPS, USPS primarily, uh, the best rates. Uh, like something like this shirt, you know, I ship a lot of shirts for Honda Hoarders and things like that. You know, to, to ship a shirt to Maine would be four or five bucks if it's just a t shirt. If it's a hoodie, maybe uh, seven, eight bucks. But uh, parts, heavy stuff. I've shipped a 250 ES motor to the Netherlands for my buddy uh, uh, Nick Duvall out there. He's a great collector. Follow him on uh, Instagram and and all the all the social medias. I'll stick a thing to the side to promote him. But you can ship some cool stuff. But that's not what I wanted to talk about today. So let's. Uh, what I wanted to talk about is this cool binder that I got in the mail just the other day. And uh, this I became aware of by my good buddy, Tricycle Guy. And we all know Tricycle Guy. We've looked at his collection. We did the uh, the tour of the you know, rarest 250R ever, maybe, possibly. Good chance. But I bought one of these on the eBay at his recommendation, and I'm going to take you through it. But in looking through this, it kind of motivated me to pull out all my, you know, promotional stuff and go through all my stuff. And I also pulled out my manuals and I'm going to dedicate this video to the other side of hoarding Hondas where you're not just hoarding the machines, you're hoarding the promotional materials and not really hoarding. You just want to get the the stuff that supports your machines. But we're going to cover that video last, or that portion of the video last. So I'm going to take you through some things like this. You know, the brochures, the stuff you'd get when you went to the dealer back in uh, 86. That's funny. No, that's 86. Never mind. So back in 86, you'd pick up one of these from the racks. Tell you all about that 86 250R. You know, you could get the overfender, you could get the short track kit, you could get it the speedometer. Something I'm going to mention when we get to it, but speedometer says ATC on it, so they were specific for Honda three wheelers. Look at that motor. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, these are things I picked up from my buddy uh, Connor down at Trike Fest last year, actually. They've not yet made it in the bot uh, in the binder. Look at that! I know who somebody who's got one of those on a 200s or had it. Did he sell it? My buddy PJ Hart had one of those. I think right, PJ. He always likes to comment on my stuff. He's a good guy. Ghetto Pony. 125M. What's interesting? I think there's a. A discrepancy because you gotta remember these things came out before the machines came out they had to have all this stuff in place before these machines hit the market and where's my maybe it's on the 87 here's my 86 over here we did the comparison video on these i think there was something yeah yeah look at this Okay, here's what I'm talking about. 
What side of the fork does that brake cable run? What side of the fork does that brake cable run? So, just like Tricycle Guy taught us, sometimes these show different things because these are pre-production models. This was the early design, and maybe they said, oh, shoot, you know, the sticks are going to hit that, that leading brake cable, so they, they stuck it behind the fork to protect it, or somebody crashed, and, or whatever. So, what options does this have? That's a cool-looking motor, huh? The governor there, headlight guard, front rack, basket, rear rack. That's cool. I hope you enjoyed that little little tidbit. The old 350. This is a TRX 350, 86. No D. TRX 350. My grandpa had one of those when I was a wee lass. And now my cousin, cousin Pete. You'll know cousin Pete from different videos. He's got it now. His his son has it. Nice 86 big red basket on the front. Mud flaps. Over fender, front rack, spotlight. So this is all the stuff that you could get that a lot of people didn't. So these are oh, these are like hen's teeth, a little diverter. So if you have the oh, that's not the mud flaps. If you have the mud flaps, you need the exhaust diverter so you don't melt a hole right out the back of your mud flap. Tells you what accessories come with what models. Very cool things. No, uh, we don't know what dealer that came from. 250SX. That's the coolest looking year, isn't it? My buddy Kaya Vollers just posted a, a picture of his on Instagram. Old school Hondas. If you don't follow that, you gotta. But he's got a nice looking one. Original tires. The mullet of the three-wheeler world. You can party, you can work. You look good doing it, right? That's right. Okay. So a lot of similar accessories. This was something that uh, came from my dad. My mom gave me a folder that had a bunch of cool stuff in it, and some of it was this. Um, the old Ha Ha Ho Ho He He Honda ATC 90. This is 1977. I believe. Can we get confirmation on that? All the stats. Pretty sure that's 77. Don't want to give anybody misinformation. Which I did. Jeez, geez, what did I do? Oh, in my fat cap. It was a good, good lead way right there. My fat cap video, uh, Sunday's video. I showed a picture of a fat cat with blue racks on it. And I was corrected. And uh, those were not Honda line racks. This does not, this is a single page. Does not show any of the accessories. So I can't show you that. But the, I had a overlay of this promotional picture there. So 87 had the silver motor. That was the big takeaway there. 87 Four Tracks 250X. Never had one of these. Had a guy ask me the other day, why don't you get two of these? And, you know, because I have the, the blue and white ones, the 91, 92, why don't I have the 87, 88? And the reason is, when I was a teenager, and I've got the stinking, I've got the bill of sale right here. I found it yesterday. Nope. What did I do with it? What did I do with it? The bill of sale from when I bought my 250X back in the day. October 1994. Sold 191 250X. It wasn't 450. We'll just say that. But don't look at that guy's address. Okay. But I had one. Uh, I had a 91 when I was uh, October 94. I was 14. And. That's why they have a sweet spot in my heart. And the first gens really don't. And uh, not that they're a bad machine. 
The 88s, where this is gray plastic, the 88s had white plastic. They are a lot harder to find than 87s. I'm not pulling each one of these out. If I do that, we'll be here forever, and I don't want to keep you forever. I just want to show you some of the cool things. So 86 200S, these are the hardest to find 200Xs. You notice it's got the Pro-Am tires on the back. My buddy Tim Keister is going to come visit me next month. He uh, he said he had one, I think, with the uh, what would be the 200SX rear tires, uh, which are also 250SX tires on the back, which is possible. He's got a picture. We don't know how that happened, but we can confirm that in that book. We'll take a look. That just rhymed. I didn't even mean to. 84. We've been through this when we looked at the the 84 200 TRX 200 that uh, I just worked on. I put that on the front. I've since sourced a set of mud flaps, and they are in that box right there, yet to be opened. The Speedo kit. Uh, I did find one of those from the same guy, but I have not gone after it or purchased it. Um, he was going to pull it off the machine. Oh, Odyssey. This was in that folder from my father. So that's first gen was yellow. I had one of those way back when. They are cool for about five minutes. Um, maybe if you're younger, they're cooler for longer than that. But if you are 30, 35 and above, uh, about five minutes. That's how cool they are. Um, and then your back starts to hurt and you realize the value of suspension and uh my buddy mrc builds just did a cool video well didn't just do it but a couple months ago did a, a number of cool videos on a, a early 80s odyssey but also fl 250 this was in that folder from my father just different uh accessories that they offered very cool we're not cool like yamaha we don't make pianos and things like that but whatever uh, Honda's pretty nice. So, as I've acquired stuff, you know, I went from one binder to two binders, and now I gotta, I'm getting a third and fourth binder because that thing's too maxed out. Uh, and I gotta organize it. So, like, you know, the promotional brochures like that, I want to have in their own binder. The owner's manuals, which are in that primarily, I want to have in their own binder. And things like that. So we got 83, big red. Yeah, that's a cool thing. They give all the angles. I don't remember what machine this was from. Oh, John Ward. Um, that's my buddy, uh, Mike's dad. That was an 83 big red. That might, have, that might be from him, but they had a couple 83 big reds right from new. Here's the info on what I put in my 350X when Donnie buys all and I redid the motor. I don't know what this is from, Medford. I could go through that, but I'm not gonna, but I am kind of curious. If there is a manual in here. So this is, you know, when you walked out the door with your, with your Honda, don't look at that address. <laughs> when you uh, bought your new Honda back in the day, they handed you one of these packets, and this was kind of like standard issue. Your dealership info was printed down there, and that's what you got. These are all service slips that my dad had worked on down at uh, Jaff Honda down in Scotia. My buddy Charlie works there. Well, that says Herba. That was my dealership growing up. Again, this was my 250X I bought. This uh, 1300 bucks, 86 350X. Back in June of 96, I was 15 when I got my first 350X. And this was the bill of sale from to the guy that I bought it from. This came with this envelope, and this letter is dated 88. So this is where Honda was like, yeah, we got to get in front of this more than we already have, because everything, they're not selling three-wheelers anymore. But they're saying, you know, put these stickers on. Here's where to put them. But then, then you'll be safe. Then they won't be dangerous anymore. The government says that's what we got to do to make them safe. And the government is always right, right? Yeah. Sure they are. Always trust the government. Anyway, um, 
just sales stuff. What is it? You know, this isn't a, a Faith No More album cover. This is uh, the first brochure for the previously non-existent three-wheeler. Honda started it all. My buddy uh, Ryan Cogswell had one framed for me. Thank you, Ryan, for that over there on my, my shelf. I should get like a big blown up one of these and bring it to work. EX800, my buddy Vinny sold me one of these. I've got one right down there. Let's see it. There it is. Oh, powder coated frames, different things. It's nice having a good supply of parts around. Nothing's for sale. Don't even ask. Thank you. But uh, I like to surround myself with things. This is um, everything I bought that I put into that white 250R right outside that door. When that was a project of mine back in 97, 98, I uh, spent a bunch of my hard-earned high school money on that. <clears throat> Here's a an interesting section. This is all the Honda line installation instructions for like the toolbox, the headlight guard for a 250X, front rack for a 185S or an ATC 200 or 200S. Sometimes you got to be a detective and figure out based on the dates what will fit. The rubber steps that I put on that TRX 200, fairing bracket for an ATC 200. Front rack, again, for 185S, 250R uh, fairing bracket, fairing bracket for 185S 200, no KG, sold some aftermarket products, you get one of these racks, I have one of these, and I think they're kind of ridiculous, so I don't have it mounted on the machine, but I got all that with uh, my 185S, my 83 that I bought. Maybe this came with it too. It's right next to it, so it probably did. 83 was the only year 185S and ATC 200 to have front suspension. Fun fact. Shows you what you can get on it. The fairing, the front rack. <clears throat> uh, apparently we have a duplicate. Some... Brochures. There's my dad's handwriting. Missed that guy. This so this was one of those. Uh, <laughs> this is what happens when you took that thing that you got from your local dealership, Herbert Motor Company, and you put it in the back of the machine. Eighty four two hundred E. So even the dealer didn't know that it was a two hundred E S that we had. So this is all stuff signed by my dad. There's my dad's signature again. So this is, there's actually two of them here, I think, maybe. She got the dealership card. 82185S. He had that before I remember anything. I think he bought that for my, my brother Kyle. But I don't remember it, and I don't, I don't know that there's any pictures of it. 200 ES, they knew there. So this was the machine <clears throat> that I grew up on. This is the one that I put a ton of miles, rolled over on myself, all that fun stuff. So if you, uh, if you know where that machine is, it's probably in rough shape. But if you, if you have it and you don't want it anymore, maybe let me know. Different bills of sales. I don't know what's on here for addresses, so I don't want to include much. Just different promotional stuff. This is a uh, shop manual for an ATC 90, so this should go over here. If you're going to be working on your stuff, you want to have shop manuals. Now, I cleared off my, my shelf here in my cupboard. I do have some climber manuals. If you don't have access to the official ones, you can use climber manuals, and they're okay. And plus, there's a lot of stuff on the internet now. The internet didn't exist. You know, Al Gore hadn't invented it back when I was a kid. Um, 
it's interesting fun fact uh google al gore's involvement with the consent decree to eliminate the sales of three-wheelers in the u.s and you'll find he was very much involved so not only did he save us from ourselves like the government likes to do but they uh he invented the internet so what a great guy he is so there's there's different um classifications here of of manuals so this is like a printed copy you can go to oscar meyer and get not the not the hot dog company but uh, oscar meyer and print out a, a manual like that but i don't think i'm going to need that one anymore it takes up a lot of room i'm pretty sure i have an official one now this is a reprint 86 87 200x this isn't what the original ones looked like the original ones looked like that so that is the official shop manual for 85 86 250r this is 87 trx i don't have an 87 but very similar machines to you know 88s 89s 86s would be pretty much identical 86 125m this would cover 87 also because uh you know they're so similar but that probably is an original original predating even the 87 this is a book that i bought from jeremy polson good guy if you want to learn about uh, mini bikes, which I don't know a ton about, but I have that reference there. So here's the 85 manual, so I don't need that big clunky binder. Fat Cat, you gotta have one of those if you got a Fat Cat. 85 through 87 250 ES, do you think that would work on an 88? Should, right? Yeah. First Gen 125M. 8586 350X. So this would be like a second print because then they went to this kind of design. Um, so this will cover the 86s and I want to have both of those because one's original original and one will cover 86 models. So here's the first gen 200X. A second 8687 200X. Didn't I just have another one back here? Back hat. Am I losing it? So this, so this, this I can get rid of. Not that, not that these are getting rid of. Let's not confuse ourselves. Because I am trying to get rid of duplicates, so I will sell that top one. That <clears throat> binder is probably junk. 86, 87, four tracks, 350. And the 87-89-350D. So that's interesting. Why is there an 87-350D and an 87-350? Interesting. 250SX. So again, this is a, a reprint, not original. But it's legit Honda. So, so 86-87-200X. First gen, first gen that. What else we got here? 82-83 Big Red. So that isn't a bound one, it's loose, and it's in a binder, but it is an official copy. Because some of these, you've probably seen things like this. They would have kept them in these binders, kind of loose. So I don't know how you got one with a binding like this versus that. If you do know, let me know, and then we'll all know. I guess that's how that would work. But this is... Uh, First gen big red 200E. And did you know they made a 200E in 84? They did. It's not up for debate. It really happened. So here's another first gen 200X. So I've got two of those. I can part with one. 84 big red. I think I've got another one of those there, but they're both loose, loose leaf. Did you know they made an 85? I know they did because I got a motor for one right there. All cleaned up. Getting ready to go in this frame. And there's the rest of it. 
And there's the tank. Isn't that funny? More to come on that. Stay tuned for, for that video series. 200 ES, I think that's all this is. My phone is showing, oh, hey, okay, self-corrected. So, again, this is a, a printed copy of that. I don't have one of those. If you have one and you need something or you want to sell one, let me know. Uh, I did notice this was a printed one, but I have a, an official one there, so I'll be getting rid of this. This is first year... 1980, 185, ATC 185S, right up through 83, I guess, on the ATC 200. We're going to be doing video on those machines soon. And then these are these are cool. These are setup instructions. So these came in crates, mostly assembled, but then they had to set them up at the dealer. So they would pull out your crated, mostly assembled Big Red. And it would show you how to get it out of the crate, you know, how not to break it, you know, how to disassemble the crate, you know, what pieces were loose. So just a cool, how to finish it off, basically, and get it ready to go on the floor. And back in the heyday, they could barely get them assembled fast enough. They were in demand. I won't bore you through that whole thing because we still got to get to that binder. But I got Fat Cat. I got 250ES, 83200X, 8600X, 8384250R. Very cool stuff. So here's that other manual in with the first gen 110. Not first, first gen. It's only 81. 7980 must... Well, they are a little bit different. Because I've worked on one. 84 Big Red. That's a little bit different. This came with a... Big Ed. <laughs> My 83. So that's an official one, too. So I've got two of these. This is what... Ed, the guy that I got that machine from, well, he handed me that day when I paid the steep price of $0 for his 83 Big Red, which that does not happen all the time. Cool promotional materials for the 82 Big Red, for the 85 250 ES. you got to specify because we know that that tank decal appeared elsewhere. But there's no print marks on this. I believe this is a promotional material. It's got trademark there, and but it doesn't say Honda anywhere. I've got posters and something else I didn't bring in here. I wasn't sure if I was going to show you or not. This is a little toy that my buddy Joe Steffens gave me. How you doing, Joe? Hope you're watching these. These are cool inserts for uh, like a transparent light sign. So like that would illuminate. I got some pictures I'll overlay of these when I had them in a window. But these are basically a film that you can see through and you can interchange them in different signs. On the line. I gotta get this stuff displayed, you know. I'm just it's hard to get through everything. CR five hundred. Like something like that I might sell along with that. Because as cool as it is, I'm not a dirt bike guy. Dodge Dodge <laughs> Dodge Shadow. Wow. Honda Shadow. ATC Big Red. That deserves to be up. Look at that guy. We all knew that guy, right? Might not have looked just like him, but we all knew that guy. 
So I got stuff like that kicking around. There's, you know, you end up with all this stuff. Oh my gosh, we haven't even gone through this. I won't, I won't burden you. You're probably getting bored. But more promotional materials. These are all the manuals. I went through these last night to see what I had and what I lacked. And and I, I pulled up my, my list here and I highlighted what I had. And so what isn't highlighted, I don't have. What year is this? That's a 74. 74. More manuals. Mosquito season. I just got bit. More of those uh, finders or envelopes that you get handed. And that all. So I want to organize this and organize that and have multiple binders that aren't all clumped together. And, and, uh, I wonder if they show the blue one. They do. They do. Let's look at this real quick. Let's see. Did they say Christmas special anywhere? So you notice the headlight on the blue one is higher. So that's either up like that because they had a rack installed on that blue one or that could have possibly had the fairing mounted on it. Could have got those tires. I just uh, traded one of those tires with my buddy Joe down in Poughkeepsie. There's the fairing. Did they mention Christmas in there? But let's talk real quick, and there's not a ton in here, but what's in here is awesome. Uh, the 86, 87 ATV accessory catalog. So these, uh, these aren't inexpensive. I got this one, I think, 150 bucks. What? 150 175 something like that and that came complete with this you know low level mold uh staining on this sheet of paper this was for the dealer as a lot of like the manuals and stuff are anyway james newberry whoever that was some instructions table of contents but let's just get to the the pictures look at that lady right that's somebody's mom so this just gave you an idea of the accessories for the different machines. So like the, the 86 125M, which this is, you can get the box on the front, the rack that's got the cable for the Speedo. Can't really tell what side of the machine that's on. The grill, front rack, rear rack, Speedo, and, and it lists everything you could get for that machine. How to order this doesn't have any prices written down but what the part numbers were 86 200s get your basket speedo mud flaps because they look amazing right yeah you, you want to get those on there this has the pro-am tires tim please note i'm looking forward to my visit with tim keister he's like you know atc royalty three-wheeler world forum member from way back 86 200x you could get the over fender the speedo and the tack mm, look at that rubber step you know you gotta get those the front fender stabilizer did they really stabilize much i'm sure they must have or else they wouldn't have stuck and sold them but here's okay i made the note let me get the glare out of there the speedos have atc on them and there's been tachometers that pop up for sale, and you'll see I'm kind of teasing it there in the top left corner. There's been tachometers that pop up for sale, and people say, well, they don't say ATC. They're not a true ATC accessory. Well, I tell you what, guys, they never did say ATC. If you're looking for a tack for your machine that says ATC on it, they didn't, they didn't come that way. So stop looking and just buy one and stop complaining on the Internet. Get the spotlight for your, your big rad, the mud flaps with your diverter so you don't melt a hole. You don't want to melt a hole through your mud flap. 86, 87, big rad would also work on the 88, I'm sure. 250SX. So all these are 86 models, if you've noticed. 86 was like the, the heyday. They didn't have as many models as 85, but it was the pinnacle. And then it all fell down, right? Al Gore, that guy. 
Get your ATC 250R over fender. Just look at that machine. Takatis are nice, tri -Zs are nice, but that's what I'm talking about, right? Get your short track kit. So this is a lot of repurposed pictures that we've seen. 386, 350X, best looking year. Over fenders on the rear, over fender on the front, chrome headlight guard with the grill. Rubber steps, who put rubber steps on their 350X? Tachometer. I wonder if it said ATC on it. Nope. Four tracks, bolt on accessories. Had one of these uh, early on with that big push bar. I didn't know it was anything special and I sold it with it on it. I wish I'd kept the machine, but it was pretty good shape. Nice looking machine. I'm rambling guys. Let's get through it. So this is 87, 125, TRX 125. So same motor as in the 125M, as we've come to know and love. But you could get accessories for that. That's kind of a cool push bar on the front, a little kind of chevron look to it. 86, 250, or 200SX. See those tires? These are the ones I, I'm i saying my buddy Tim got on his... 200 s which is possible you know these sat on the sales floor the same time did when they were doing the setup on this machine did the tires get swapped was there an oopsie did the guy that bought that this want the pro-am so they put these tires on the 200 s that tim bought i don't know i don't know but we're trying to get through this look at those tires those are really Rare to find original on the machine. 250R. So this covers all the, the big models that we want. 86, 87. Decals. The 87. 250X. So they made that 87, 88. They took a break. Came back out in 91. 350 TRX 350, not 350D. You'll notice 350s have yellow fog lights there in the in the rack. Sorry if I'm doing this crooked. So this is a mystery. 87 Foreman 4x4 versus the four tracks 4x4, which I think is 86. So it's the same machine. I'm pretty confident. Correct me if I'm wrong. If you uh, if you know about these, I don't know why they'd have to designate a whole other section. Odyssey is in here. You can get a cover for your Odyssey. Some lights. Tack. Does it say Odyssey? No. Trip meter. General accessories. So we're regurgitating. If you missed it in the beginning part of the binder, there's all these things. Speedo for like a TRX 200. Who knows what that went to? It's saying TRX 200 SX, maybe that's what that was. So these are all like the, you know, the jewelry that when you buy a an old Honda, you know, does it have a Speedo? Does it have a headlight guard? Does it have the special tires? So here's what got me wanting one of these. So here lists all the tires that would come. You know, like it, it, I recognize these now. So that's TRX uh, 200 and the 85 TRX uh, 250. The Pro Ams, Pro Am 3. Pro-Am 2, Pro-Am 1. What was the Pro-Am 3? I don't think I've ever seen one of those. You know, it's got an FR denotation. And we've had that question, or I've had that question on the ATC 90 tires. So FR is tire construction with cord in shoulder and tread only. Versus the SP, tire construction without tire cord. But this lists all the tires. So let's, let's chase this out. Let's do a little exercise here. So... 
that's 200 x tire where's 250 sx i'm looking but i'm missing it right there pv301 is 250 sx so let's confirm 250 no nope, 200 250 sx original equipment PV301. See how we did that? Okay, let's get back over. OP optional. You can get the, the PV1 Pro Wedge or XA801. Those are the puncture resistant, puncture resistant XA801s. Optional. The KT. 37A, 77A Dunlop. Where are those? Am I missing those? Or are they just listing them for good measure? Anyway, that's not what I'm talking about. But PV301, oh, the PV1 is 200X tires. But PV301 on a ATC. 200s where is it I'm missing it 200s 86 optional pro-am oh pro-am 2 optional standard equipment is the dunlop really that's super interesting and above that optional puncture resistant or the pro wedge it's not even listing the 301. Oh, yeah, that's what we expected. But it's listing the Pro Am 2 as optional. But it's in all the pictures, unless. I'm sorry, I'm in the weeds, guys, here. Unless this, this number is a Pro Am looking tire. Crazy. Okay, racing apparel. That's all I really wanted to show you. Look at that guy. He was a good time, I'm sure. And she's like, I love him. I love him. Look at his eyes. All the, the cool stuff that I wish I had, like Tricycle Guy does. Tricycle Guy's got a stinking mannequin in his basement wearing all the stuff, the sportswear. You know? Am I right? If you were that guy, look at those shorts. Showing some leg, huh? Hey, buddy. Again, she's like, oh, this man, his 250R, if that glare wasn't in the way, you'd be able to see it. She's she's fun. She likes to tell jokes, you can tell. Look at this guy. I was pointing this out to my wife. She's got a wedding ring, but he doesn't. But he's got that jacket, so that kind of... That kind of gets him in, right? Anyway... Um, look at the sweater. You going out to the Honda, you know, sales reception, you know, Christmas party. You got to put on your, your maroon Honda sweater. Am I right? Oh man. Look at that belt buckle. I don't even have time to show you my belt buckle collection. Ryan Cogswell has a better one. These hats, your corduroy. They, they had it going on. They wanted you to be able to love your Hondas and be able to show everybody. There's the helmets. I kind of teased my helmet collection over there on the bar. Don't have time to go into it right now. Well, I've been rambling about this manual and about this, uh, all the paper, the paper that goes with the, no prices, sorry, I can't, can't show you that. Well, I've been rambling, and I, I don't mean to keep you and bore you. If you found this interesting, I know some of you will. I just wanted to, to let you know, you know, this stuff is out there and what is cool and what to look for. Uh, if you've got questions and you want some answers, uh, I can tell you what I know. I can make up what I don't. And there you have it. This has been... A very boring video on, on the sales brochures and service manuals and uh, overpriced binders brought to you by Knox Machine Company um, and my buddies Travis and Dylan Anderson up there in Maine. So 
Have a great day. Thanks so much for watching and we'll catch you next time.